Hello. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Hello. Hello. Can you hear can me? You hear me. Yes, I can hear you. Hear me? Yeah. Okay, fantastic. All right. Today we are going to work with BDD cucumber. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. <clears throat> okay. Um, let me close it. BDD cucumber is known as behavior driven development. And test ng is TDD, test driven development. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me create a project and I name it. I just go to other and go to Maven and click on Maven project next and just check and create simple project, okay? Mm -hmm. And then create maybe in project, just click on next, okay? And it is comed on Facebook. The application you are going to test and name of the artifact ID is the project name. We name it BDD test framework. Okay. Mm -hmm. Click on finish and cucumber. Sorry. So BDD test framework is there. Okay. Yes. All right, now we see there is SRC slash tests slash Java. This is our package where we work. And SRC slash tests resources, we work on these two folder. So in the resources, we just right button click and we create a package and name it um, features. Okay, features, just features. Click on finish and features folder has been created. Inside the features folder, we create feature file, go to file, not mm -hmm. class, remember, yeah. it will be file, feature file. So name it login.feature. Okay, you can say login test feature, no problem. Finish and you see cucumber, uh, File has been created. Sign is there and uh, feature file has been created. You see green mark, right? Like a cucumber, yeah, paste. Okay, you can just take it out. Okay. And before creating even feature, feature file, we created it already. What you can do? Just click on project and you see there is no green mark here. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the logo of uh, Cucumber. So there will be also a very tiny logo like this one, but smaller will be here when you just 
right button click and go to um, convert to I see there is configure something like that, but I cannot see. Uh, maybe. No. Maybe. <clears throat> okay, I got it. Actually, we don't have it because we don't have the. Um, <clears throat> software inside our form.xml okay so we just take dependencies okay mm -hmm. and inside the dependencies we have to bring one dependency that is mbn we can say type just type here mbn repository and then go to mvnrepository.com then type here um, java cucumber And Cucumber Java is here. Never choose Info Cukes. This is older one. Mm -hmm. Click here and take 734. Seven, I'll take, <clears throat> actually you can take the latest one, but it should be similar one, okay? You can mm -hmm. take this one, mm -hmm. but it should be similar. Okay. Seven, nine. Same version. Yeah, 7.9.0. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> take it. And then you have to take test in G, cucumber test in G. Um, cucumber. Test in G. Remember, you are taking 7.90. Yeah. So test in G should be also 7.9.0. So 7. <laughs> mm -hmm. You don't need to worry about it because your lead project manager will provide you all these things. The information. The version, the dependencies will be there. Just you pull it from cloud and just paste here okay mm -hmm. and you will need also another one <clears throat> there is uh, selenium java okay selenium java just take the latest one it's same thing Okay. Um, you can put right here. And if you want to use Web Driver Manager, though without Web Driver Manager, we can manage it. Web Driver Manager. Click on Web Driver Manager, take the latest one. Okay. All right button, click copy. Dependencies, you can put it here. And what you can do, you can just indent it. You can indent from source also, I think. 
uh, just click on formats it has been formatted okay automatically all right so you have to save it the right button click and save and it's being downloaded <clears throat> okay now Maven dependencies are not here yet. In that case, what you can do, uh, just right button click, go to Maven and update. Okay, force update. Okay, it's updating. Okay. Once it has been updated, you see maybe in dependencies here. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. I think everything is there. You can see whatever you have. Okay, you see test ng also here. Okay, mm -hmm. so you are integrating test ng and BDD cucumber. I remember, you can buy data zine. Amra jara project te catch kori, amra test ng be bhar korte jani ekhane. If you go to YouTube, maybe there isn't <clears throat> the latest. Okay, right mm -hmm. button click. Either I'm ready. Key. Mm -hmm. Convert to here. If you go to the test ng, then it shows convert. Convert to test ng. I don't want to convert it to test ng. Oh, then I want to do the configure. Maybe where is configure? Can you see? Yeah, go where? down, 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 more, more down. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. I'm one. looking for it. Yeah, configure then convert to cucumber project. You see? Yeah, just click here and look. <clears throat> It will be coming with a green. Let me refresh. You see? You see? Mm. There is a green mark. Okay, very tiny. Very tiny, yeah, in the top. Yeah. So our project has been converted into test engine now. Okay. Okay. Now go back to your resources okay and now you can start writing features okay feature okay hmm. you can say validate login functionality with credentials. You're not saying whether it is correct or incorrect, just correct. credentials okay. because, okay. yeah, because it can be also incorrect credentials, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, then mm, feature, Then what? Uh, features, then scenario or? Scenario, okay. Scenario. Scenario. Okay. Feature. So it will be capital. 
when I write Cabral, now you see it becomes different. a little different color. Yeah. Scenario is test login functionality with correct credentials mm. okay and it will have actually um get in, written in Gherkin language so feature and scenario these are keyword for Gherkin language <clears throat> itself okay and just a minute give me one sec all right okay so it will start with given okay given is another keyword mm -hmm. and given is a condition given user is on the login page this is precondition you have to open google okay go to google.com then go to the uh, application login page okay mm -hmm. and you can say and You can say n n n n n, okay, and or you can say when when is action when the same user. So you are saying the user enters username. Actually, enters correct username. Okay, mm -hmm. and the user enters, enters right. password. password, and definitely it is also correct password, or you can say incorrect, okay, incorrect, incorrect. it is negative testing, then mm -hmm. you have to say here incorrect, mm -hmm. okay. And and <clears throat> the user click on click on login button login button then outcome okay the user the will, user will be able yeah should be able okay should be able to able. log in log in successfully no should not be able right oh because it's in incorrect should right. not be should not be able to log in successfully that's right all right fantastic this is your uh, feature and this is your scenario. Scenario is nothing but a test case and it has uh, these test steps, okay? All right, then just right button click. You can click on pretty format and mm -hmm. it will be formatted. If say for example, if you write without indentation, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you right button click and go to pretty format, it will be indented. indented. Then just right button click and run as cucumber feature. Mm -hmm. You see, mm -hmm. Chrome driver started successfully and actually. 
<laughs> there is a framework already. <laughs> okay, what mm -hmm. happened? You know, there is another project, and it is uh, running. Uh, yes, that, that, that yeah, that oh. project also. So, uh, uh, you didn't mention the project name. Yeah, right. we have to. So what we have to do, I have to go here. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> run is test ng no. Actually, we can. Configure. Convert to. Mm. Actually, we have to run from here. Run as cucumber feature. Not working? Not working. Okay, let's do it again. Okay. Run as cucumber. Or we can configure, run configuration. Uh, this is login feature, right? Mm -hmm. You see, we have another login feature. Yeah. Uh, uh, this is small, small login. login. Small so, login. Yeah. And this is BDD Cucumber, BDD test framework. So it is not Cucumber tutorial. So it will be BDD framework. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of project here. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Now it is okay. I guess. Okay. Yeah, apply and run. Okay. <clears throat> now you see, mm -hmm. now we have, you can implement missing steps. And we can just copy it from the given start from the given yes i then. can just copy it okay and then go to src test yes. java okay and just create a package name is okay. steps Or you can say step definition. Okay. Mm -hmm. I just name it steps. And it will be instead the steps class. It will be class. Okay. So I will say steps. And uh, as I name it steps, you can name it actually anything. Okay. Mm -hmm. And just we can format it again. Go to source, then format. Okay. Then oh. just import it and just make it star, meaning all. Okay, oh. everything has been imported. Now just write the codes. 
you need. All right. Mm -hmm. You can write the code right now, Selenium yeah. code. Okay. Let's say web driver driver equal to mm -hmm. new Chrome driver. Home driver. Okay. And just import it. Import it. Import it, import it. It has not been imported yet. What's wrong? Oh my goodness, okay. And just say driver dot get. And it is https colon slash slash Facebook dot com. All right. And we have web driver manager. Just say web driver manager. It is a class, so you have to import it. Mm -hmm. Web driver manager. Mm -hmm. And uh, just say web driver manager. It's a Chrome. Okay. Chrome Drive Manager. Dot setup. And dot setup. Setup. Okay, fantastic. Now you can just run and check. Uh, and there is no runner class. Okay. Mm -hmm. We don't have runner class yet, so we have to make it. But still, it is uh, Chrome driver successfully started and opened the browser, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, now what I'm going to do, I just say driver dot manage, manage dot window dot maximize all right mm -hmm. and we know um, now we can just this is different method right yeah. So what do you have to do? You have to just copy it. Okay. Make it global. Yeah, mm -hmm. make it global. Let's go. And yeah. you have to take out the class oh. web driver. Yeah. And just what you can do, you can say yeah. driver dot find element. Find element by name. Uh, name. Maybe. Okay, name. We know it's email. Mm. Okay. Yeah. And not send keys. Send keys. It is a b c d at the rate gmail dot com. And we can just copy it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we know now. It is incorrect yeah. password. Yeah. So actually not correct. It's, it should be incorrect, okay? Okay. Oh, okay? Incorrect. I don't know we write correct or incorrect. Incorrect. Yes. Right it's here. Incorrect. Incorrect. Okay. incorrect. So it should be incorrect. What they do? Really? Yeah, we corrected it after we run it, I believe. No. Okay. Let's check. Okay, it's working. Yeah. Okay. So, 
what we can do now I surely we have to actually we have to um, anyway it's working <laughs> don't worry about it right now if it doesn't work then we have to work it again okay it's by id say for example and id is pass okay now i'm showing you from my experience but mm -hmm. if you have doubts uh wait Oh, facebook.com. Okay, just right button click. Click on inspector, then click back on password field. Mm -hmm. And you yeah. see name is pass and ID is pass, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And if you click on login it is name login okay login. Yeah. okay let's go just remember uh, just copy it and yeah, it you will can, be you can change the password click send kiss and password. name is name Login. So login. Password is A B C D. One two three. One two three four. Okay. And successfully log in. So we can say see so control space bar. And just say, the user will not be, could not be login. Or you can say user could not be login. Yeah. Okay. But here shows here, uh, the user able to log in successfully. <laughs> Yes, because because at first we write it, then we just oh, yeah. run the uh, feature file and we find it. Then we corrected it. So okay. it should not be mapped, actually. You see? It's not mapped, you know? But the user click on login, it has been mapped, you see? There is green mark. These are not mapped because login page, it is incorrect, incorrect, should not be, and it is not mapped. Yeah, oh, okay. You understand? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It didn't map. So if it is not mapped, actually, it will not work. It should not work. No, it's working. See? Still, we don't know. You see? It's passing parameters. Passing parameter, but not clicking. Uh, yeah, oh, click. oh, clicking, clicking, clicking. Yeah, click. Is this your account? Yes, it clicked. Clicked, yeah. Continue, okay. I can say continue. Actually, it will not because it is incorrect. However, it say scenario passed, step passed, five steps passed, okay. Mm. Uh, the user Login, correct username. So it should be 
incorrect. But actually, what maps earlier, it's running them. Okay. So. What we can do. Yeah. We can say incorrect. Incorrect. Let's try to map it. Okay. Yeah. Incorrect. Okay, let's see what happens. Now go back here. You see, it didn't map here. Yeah. Yeah, it should map. When it will hook together, connect it to each other, then it will, this mark will gone. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Let's try it again. Now you see, it's not working. We correct yeah. it and it's not working. Not to, yeah. You see, it given us different, <laughs> it didn't say incorrect username. Yeah. Okay, correct, okay. It's giving us the previous one, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, let us save it. Or what we can do, we can refresh. Or force update. Okay, we can update maybe, maybe. Update. Force update. Okay. Yeah. You see? Now yeah. gone. Okay. Now mapped. Okay. Now let's see. I hope now it will work. Run configuration. And then. It is still launching login feature, 11%. <clears throat> All right. Okay. Now, we have a minute. Please join back. Okay. If it is dropped. Okay. Okay. Let's join back within five minutes. Okay. <clears throat> 